yeah, yeah, yeah. See my whole team and you know where to find us. Yeah, you know where to find me. Hey, I'm trying to the grace. Hey guys, so it's finally time to tackle this hair. I need to pre poo it. I'll just be showing you guys the steps I take. That's what this video is because many times people have asked me how exactly do you pre poo your hair? What do you use? I'm just going to share with you that information as I get this process started. You know, to save on time. <laughs> so, pre pooing is the process that you do, like detangling your hair and um, softening it and just making sure it's not matted before you shampoo you know it comes pre the poo process you know the shampoo process it's a pre shampoo and so you can use different things i've mentioned this in previous videos like examples of what you can use to pre poo so there's some people who prefer to use natural oils like essential oils for pre pooing you can do an oil blend another thing you can use for pre pooing is an actual store-bought pre poo low porosity hair which needs like medium to light consistency products if you'd like to learn more about how to choose your products with your porosity and your hair needs etc you can check one of my previous videos where i talked about um, how to choose products I'll link it in the description down below so you can click and watch it when you're free literally pick a deep conditioner and you decide to apply that as your pre-poo and you detangle you're not just like applying it the way you would in the shower on detangled hair so it just depends on what you like to do anyway in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I'm using a conditioner the conditioner is called the Alberto Balsam conditioner i'm going to show you guys how it looks like you guys know i always start with my spray bottle it only has like plain water and so that's what i'm going to be using to like spray my hair to dampen it as i apply the conditioner this one is a silicone free conditioner it's alberto balsam tea tree tingle conditioner it doesn't have silicones it doesn't have salt Sulfates. Does it have sulfates? I'm not sure. It restores shine and it has vitamin B5, which is really good for the hair. It moisturizes and nourishes. And so this is what I want to use for detangling my hair before washing because I mean I did a twist out like a week and four days ago. I did a twist out. I've been so busy. I recently graduated. I'm just grateful to God for that. Thank you so much for being patient with me, even though sometimes my content isn't very consistent. I found some hair ties and I'm just going to put them in my hand. I'll just start with one side of my hair. I do low manipulation styles, like I plate a style, keep it for like a week or two and then undo refresh. The first step, I'm just like pulling out the ends of my hair because they coil on themselves. Some shedding. Yeah, it already fell. Oops. This process is usually messy because I, I like to do it in my room. Sometimes I do it in the bathroom, but when I'm filming, of course, I do it in my room. I hope you guys can see how my hair looks like. Um, slowly absorbing the water, which is good. But my hair is super tangled. It's time to apply a bit of the conditioner. Hmm. I like how it smells. It smells a lot, like exactly like tea tree. And then it's very runny. I'm also trying to be as gentle as possible with my hair because one of my nails cracked just this morning. If the hair gets stuck there, oh that's a whole other process. Guys, don't do your hair with nails that have cracks. I'm going to fix it casual. When you work in sections, you're able to feel for where the tangles are. If you just decide to do your whole entire hair at the same time, you'll probably end up losing more hair than necessary. 
Yeah, so once I'm done detangling that section and for the most part my fingers can glide along the strands, not entirely through because you have to keep in mind type 4 hair is coily. I mean it's not straight hair so you'll never be able to perfectly run your fingers through your hair like but to an extent you should be able to slide along the hair strands if that makes sense and the more tangled a section is you'll rather split that into half and then combine them later so like for this big section i had to split it into half and I just do the exact same thing I need to do this side. <laughs> Oof. Scalp is also itchy, which is not a good sign. We have to fix this, so I'll be back in in a few. I just finished my pre poo. Kids are playing outside, so if you hear some screams, no one's dying. They're just excited. Anyway, um, I finished my pre poo. I did six sections in total. I'm just going to wear shower cape just so that it can trap the moisture for about 15 minutes as I get ready to pop in the shower for my shampoo and the conditioner. The amount of hair that I lost, it's not too much. Shedding is normal, okay? Anyway, I'm just feeling so much better now, like ready for a shower. Yeah. 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 Yeah.